My name's Lucy, I am a teacher of science here at Trinity Academy Leeds. Uh, I first came into teaching through the Teach First programme um, and I've worked in another school pri previously to here um, and applied for Trinity Academy Leeds for its second year um, as it's a free school so we're in our second year of opening now because um, I'm just really excited in the idea that we can grow the school into something really special so it's nice to be a part of the sort of founding science team. With me being a part of the Teach First programme, it was really the, the whole idea of the um, socio-economic gap that is growing and widening for students between privileged students and underprivileged students. Um, and I just felt really passionately about being a part of closing that. Um, I'm also just a massive science geek, so the idea of combining the idea of teaching with teaching science was sort of perfect. Um, and then Teach First really focuses on that closing the gap um, and that's where I've come here um, separate from Teach First of course but still again focusing on those underprivileged students um, and giving them like a world-class opportunity to learn and to educate them in a world-class environment which is what's so great about working here. So with being somebody that is quite passionate about using research to inform my practice anyway. I was actually already a member of Chartered College. Um, so when our Vice Principal of Teaching and Learning announced that the sort of whole team were going to get this opportunity to start a chartered journey and become members and actually go towards that chartered status together, it was perfect because I could end my current membership and, and embark on the, the membership that we have as a team. Um, so it's a really nice thing to do together and not alone because it means we actually dedicate some time as a teaching body to go to like an ICT suite and just all get into it together. So sometimes we watch the videos together and then we'll have a discussion around um, the, the videos or we might say, right, half an hour, we're all just going to sit in silence with our headphones on and, and listen to the audio book parts or the videos and have a read through some research and then we might discuss it. So doing that as a team has been really, really nice and it actually just, it holds you accountable, not in a strict way, but in a really warm way to, to do it together rather than sort of meandering through Twitter trying to find my own research and not really know where that's coming to. It's almost like a, an end goal that you're all going towards together. Because we're doing it, ultimately, this is all for the pupils that we teach. Having a school full of chartered teachers is the aim because then the pupils we teach are getting a world-class education uh, in a really underprivileged area of the city, which is exactly what we need to close that socioeconomic gap. The thing I've enjoyed most about doing the certificate so far uh, is just that it gives me that sort of almost directed time to focus on research. Um, and whilst I've always been somebody who enjoys using research to inform my practice and try new things out when I'm teaching, sometimes that is so undirected that I've got a million things I want to try at once. Um, and through the Certificate of Evidence Informed Practice, I've been able to really hone in on certain areas. So for example, at the moment, I'm focusing on cognitive science, which is forcing me to push all my reading into one area, so retrieval practice, interleaving, space practice, all of these ideas. Um, it sort of almost, yeah, it directs my reading and allows me to try out specific things rather than the sort of never-ending to-do list of things to try in teaching. It directs my time and my passion into one area that I can then really improve over time, which has been really nice. So I think the in biggest impact on my teaching practice is just my ability to take the research that I'm looking at and apply it to my teaching practice in general. So I wouldn't say it's like you walk into one of my lessons and you can see that I'm a chartered, uh, on my way to becoming a chartered teacher. It's more just that my teaching is so high quality and research driven. I'm trying things out all of the time and being a much more reflective practi practitioner. So it's allowing me to sort of try something that's maybe based on some research that I've read, apply it to my classroom, go, actually, that doesn't work, and then to reflect on it and go, oh, I'd like to write that in my essay that I'm writing at the moment because it's really interesting that that hasn't worked in my 
setting. Um, so it's, it's definitely just, I wouldn't say it's having a specific impact, but just generally the quality of my teaching has been leveraged because of all the research that I am reading um, and the weight that I put on that research when I'm planning my lessons um, and the thought that goes into the questions that go into my lessons and how I ask them, when I ask them, and the curriculum as well. It's, it's allowing every department in the school to, to have bigger conversations around their curriculum and develop them to make them world class. Teaching and learning is something that I've always been really passionate about and something that I really focus on. So if you were to ask me where I see myself in five years time, it would be definitely in a role where I was leading teaching and learning. So I think what's been really nice for me is that this certificate is already improving my leadership skills through that as well because the CPD that I'm already delivering, I'm now placing much more importance on the research that I use to back up the CPD that I deliver and to consider the limitations of the research that I might read when I'm presenting. So I think in general it's allowing all of us to become better practitioners, better leaders, so in theory how that will affect the school is that you've just got an entire school body and a body of teachers that are just world class and that are trained to such a high quality to deliver that world class education to our kids who need it most being from some of the most underprivileged homes in Leeds. So I think teachers need to focus on CPD because teaching is one of the least invested in professions in terms of professional development and until re more recently or perhaps still in a lot of schools there's a real deficit in what good CPD looks like and then delivering that to staff so that they can improve so you quite often get this plateau with teaching where teachers get to a good standard maybe they feel confident delivering and then they almost get set in their ways and, and plateau because perhaps they're not using that research to push themselves and to change with the times Something that's really nice about doing this as a team is that we can all discuss our findings and the research that we've done, which will slightly differ even if we pick the same essay title, for example, or all focus on cognitive science. We all take different things from that. Um, and in our deliberate practice groups, it's really nice to discuss um, those findings. And I think what that does for a team of teachers is it really makes you feel like you belong in something that's really special and rooted in research so you it almost drives you to want to get better all of the time um, and the thought of sort of graduating together as a team that are doing it together it's like that feel of, of togetherness and that we're all doing this for the children which is really really nice. I would definitely recommend the a certificate to friends, family, other teachers just because it's such an accessible uh, way to improve how you use research to inform your practice. I think especially with new teachers or teachers who are new to using research, using research to inform your practice can be quite a daunting thing or feel quite overwhelming, especially now there's so much out there on teacher Twitter and in the internet. Uh, and all the different books that you can buy, it feels like a really overwhelming space, but Chartered College really directs that for you and allows that all to be in one place. So I don't need to go searching anymore. It's just there for me and, and gives me a path to follow where I know I'm going to develop. 